the one they call Jabril. You are King Sora and Queen Shiro? What business do the new rulers of Amanity have with me? Oh, so you know us already. That'll make this easier. I'll just tell you then. I want this library. Want to take more library away? My word, that's not as possible. I would comprend it. Okay, Steph, <laughs> this is a flugel, right? A god killing warrior, just like you said? Th that's what she's supposed to be. Must have been as cattywampus as a squab hit in the face with a bean gun. Or wait, sorry, pea shooter, I mean. She corrected herself. You remind me of this awful comedian I saw, so if you're doing this on purpose, please spare us. Pourquoi? I had thought it was a uniquely avant garde way of speaking, but you're saying somebody already beat me to it? Yeah, and they suck too. Let us return to the matter at hand. You said you desire my library. Should I assume that means... That you wish to challenge me to a game, human? Uh-huh. I do, actually. How interesting. Before the ten pledges were put into effect, we Flugels spent our days collecting severed heads off the corpses of our victims. However, now that murder is forbidden, we are satisfied with collecting knowledge instead. It's no exaggeration to say the books containing that knowledge, and the places where they are held, are, in Flugel society, considered to be as valuable as one's life. So, since you're asking me to bet my life away, what are you offering me in exchange? More than 40,000 books from another world. <laughs> oh no, you didn't. It's okay, Shiro. In our line of work, that's a really good sign. 40,000? That's quite a prize. Where do you keep all these books? Right in here. I got them to study for quiz games. Dictionaries, medical reference guides, philosophy books. It's chock full of information from our world. Wait, you're honestly trying to tell me that you came here from another world? Yep. That's not possible. Huh? Oh. You want to back us up here? Oh, I, uh... If you were going to summon a living creature from another world, it would require a massive amount of magical energy to sustain them here. I'm afraid that even the old deuce would find such a task extraordinarily difficult. I don't really get it, but proof trumps all. Look at this. Not sure if you can read it. What are you talking about? I can speak every one of the over 700 languages fluently, so... Uh, I can't read these words. A brand new language? And there are 40,000 books full of this? So much knowledge from another world! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> hey, you're drooling! You're drooling on it! Oh, oh my, excuse me, I see. I am indeed interested in this little thin board thingy, and yet I fear I still can't trust that you're from another world without some sort of proof to persuade me. Help me out here. What kind of proof are you looking for? Could you please allow me to inspect your bodies? Inspect our bodies? Why would you do that? What the hell are you checking for anyway? Your erogenous zones. No, oh, do it for as long as you like, as hard as you like, wherever you like. Nothing good can come from this. Sora, that's rated R stuff. Uh, 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 damn it, you're right. Fine. Just leave the stupid pants on, but listen up. This is a give and take situation. You touch me, and I get to feel you up too! Uh, 
Are you crazy? She's not just gonna let of you course. touch her. That'll be perfectly fine. Oh, I'm losing my mind. <sighs> so, do you not care for how it feels when I stroke you that way? Uh, no, it feels pretty okay, I suppose. More so than one might expect, but, uh, how to put it? I guess I'm just feeling a little let down. Kind of disappointed. Is this not one of your erogenous zones? I mean, no, it isn't. Not really. But frankly, even if it was, I don't think any man would be willing to admit that, okay? And allow me to add that I was hoping you'd touch me somewhere else, to say the least. But all of our power comes from the pulsating lines of currents called our spirit circuits. These lines are more concentrated at our wings, which is why they are so very sensitive and uh, also very erogenous. Uh, mm, you like that, baby? What? Right here, you say... Oh. And when you touch me like that, I just... Uh, what are we even doing anymore? I'm just helping a girl for an out by stroking her soft parts. Right, sis? Yep, it's super healthy. Yeah. I can't believe that I'm like seeing that. this. I mean, How she's a god-killing <laughs> ultimate weapon. <laughs> ah! Ahem. As far as I can tell, there would appear to be no spirits whatsoever residing within your bodies. In other words, by the standards set in our world, you two aren't technically even defined as life. Flugel are like living deities and a manatee fungus. So what does that make us? Completely unknown! <laughs> A mystery is the most wonderful thing in existence. It is the wellspring from which all new knowledge is born. And there is nothing quite as spectacular as the unknown. Uh, okay, good for you. I guess it's safe to assume that we've proven we're not from your world then. Yes, that's right. I assumed you were nothing more than feeble humanity, but I was mistaken. My apologies. I meant no offense. Of course, I will accept your challenge, but I'm afraid I don't really have much to offer you that's worth 40,000 books from another world. I just want the library. How about I bet myself as well as everything I have? Really? Seriously? Jackpot! Is that acceptable? Oh, yeah. We want all of your personal rights as a living being. Why, that's just excellent. Oh, if I win, I would like to add a clause that states that you have to come by the library for tea once in a while. I'm ever so eager to learn more about you. <laughs> I've no problem with that, assuming you do win, of course. But in that case, we get a second request if we win, right? Yes. In the extraordinarily unlikely event that such a miracle occurs. <laughs> the game will be word chain, but not your run-of-the-mill kind of word chain. Materialization word chain. Materialization word chain? Yes, the rules are simple. Just like a normal word chain, if you use a word that's already been used, fail to answer after 30 seconds, or can no longer continue, then it's game over for you. Can words be in any language? Yes, but just so you know, imaginary things that do not exist won't count as a proper answer. And remember, we're playing materialization word chain. If you say something that's here, it will disappear. If it's not here, it will appear. I'm sure you can guess the implications. Of course, once the game's over, everything that happened will be undone. So don't hesitate to show off your knowledge. I got it. Okay, Shiro, come sit here. We'll do this together, just like we always do. It makes no difference. You are completely outmatched. Take all the help you can get and try to stay alive. What? Wait, you mean you can die? You can, but only as a oh. consequence of actions taken in the game. Your opponent cannot directly attack you. Okie dokie then, folks. You have fun. I'll just be on my merry way. Here we go. All right. Let the game begin. Give us your best shot. Would you please stop ignoring me, please? Stay. I will offer you the first move. Pick any word you like. So, let me think about this. Okay, I'll start with Atom Bomb. Huh? What is this? Destructing for your first move, hmm? That was Kulian's, one of the highest level ceiling spells. Very handy. 
You were fortunate. If I hadn't decided to be so benevolent as to protect you, the game would have ended already. Benevolent? Oh, give me a break. Give me a I was simply testing the waters to see what lengths you'd be willing to go to in order to keep this interesting little game of ours running. Pretty great lengths, it would seem. That's right. Now that I've busted out the most powerful weapon in my planet's arsenal, I see that you won't be so easy to dispose of. I'm so glad we understand each other. The last thing I want is to waste my time in a dull game. Oh, don't worry. I think I can keep these things lively. Spirit circuits! <laughs> Well, you certainly got right to it. I wanted to try out the new phrase I learned. What? You mad? No, it's fine. Not having them in me just limits my physical abilities a bit and prevents me from flying. But I still have spirits in my body, so I'll be able to manage. If anything, I suppose it just makes me a bit anxious. Oh, like when your cell phone can't get a wireless connection? Cell phone? Yeah. Wireless? Yeah. Do they have something to do with that magic board doing? Hey, 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 back off. If I lose, then I'll tell you. Sorry, I think she's... Yeah, she's really getting into this game. Hey, Jabril, your turn. Come on. Uh, oh, yes, that's right. I'll do an easy one. Stallion, stallion. <laughs> okay, naughty bits. Hmm? You cool? of this bleak scenery. Let's liven things up a bit. Beach. Ah! Okay, this is nice and all, but it's rough on someone who never leaves home. My turn. Hooter nub. Ah! Oh, I get it. Let me try this. Bikinis. Brill, you don't understand at all. If you want to see bikinis, you need to get rid of the clothing first. That's how it works. Oh, I see. I'm sorry I ruined it. Too bad I can't take it back. Would you two at least pretend like this is a life or death Whatever. struggle? Whatever. Suitcases. Don't you mean baggage? Anyway, how does squall sound? Huh? Hey, wait! It hey, all worked hey, out the end, Jabril. Getting an upskirt look at a bikini bottom is a rare thing. And since Steph wasn't wearing underwear, we don't have to worry about an extra pair of panties getting in the way. Oh, yay. I'm so glad it worked out. And now, it'll be complete. Ladies wear! Uh-huh. <laughs> How do you like that, sis? No nether regions at all. And we've still got the shoes, knee socks, and collar. In other words, it's even better than pure nudity. Obviously suitable for all ages. Very healthy and natural. Moderately sexy, but not like super dirty or anything. Hey, you know what we should call this? The super healthy unnude beach deluxe! Sora, I'll make a good job. Give me back my clothes! Give me back my dignity! So, Jabril, don't you ever get hungry? Mantle. Oh, I'm fine. Unlike you pathetic humans, I don't require the intake of organic substances. Illusional. <laughs> I see. But you get tired, don't you? The sun will come up soon. Hurry up and lose those already. Outer core. Uh, if you're all pooped and you want to quit, go right ahead. I'm not going to stop you. I've already had more fun than I've ever expected playing with you weaklings. Epic clock. <laughs> You keep calling us weaklings and feeble. It's really starting to get on my nerves. Killer creature. Well, to a mighty exceed rank six like yourself, I'm sure us folks at the bottom of the list must look like ants or whatever, huh? But you know what? Ants are pretty strong, and there's lots of them, too. I humbly apologize. I hadn't considered the idea that you humanity were smart enough to think of yourselves as anything but weak. Well, if you think that longevity and strength equal power, then you must be even dumber than we are. You're saying I'm inferior to humanity? Please, do understand that my feelings towards you are best described as curiosity, not respect. So don't get too comfortable, little ant. I could easily squish you anytime I like. Effulgent oil. And that's exactly why you're weak. You're so egocentric, you don't even know it. Egocentric? Yep, I'll write it. It means you think you're the center of everything. Obviously. I know what the word means. And what makes you think I'm so egocentric? You say you're curious about the unknown, but you're so wrapped up in yourself that you can't even appreciate it. It's about time I taught you a lesson. Allow me to show you just how weak you really are. 
Oh. Hey, Steph, thanks for the hard work. Oh. If you hadn't kept all those monsters at bay, there's no way we would have won. Oh. That's a little premature. Sorry about this, Steph. This will kill you, so try to hang in there. Wait, what? Ah! Ah! those stairs! The lithosphere is our planet's outer surface. You were too busy enjoying yourself to see that I was slowly dismantling this planet, starting with its mantle, then erasing the outer core. Maybe you would have caught that if you weren't so damn egocentric. You fail to fear and respect the unknown, and that, my dear, is what makes you weak. Now I see. This is why you erased my spirit circuits. You wanted me to fall to my doom. The core has an internal temperature of 6,000 degrees and a surface temperature of 3,000 degrees. Well, you're in the same pickle I am, so let's keep playing and see who goes first. You were worried about the sun coming up, right? Early morning halo. <gasps> Oxygen, Oxygen gas! <laughs> so you want to smother me to death now? You'll have to do better than that. Let's keep this game going. Sonata. Agriculture enthusiasts! You're making this way too easy. Okay, still air. Once the air comes back, I can breathe. <laughs> what the? Yes, I was right. Jibril doesn't know atomic theory. You thought if you couldn't breathe, all you had to do was bring back air, right? Nope, not quite. All I got rid of was oxygen. The rules say if something's there, it disappears. And if it isn't there, it appears. The other gases disappeared and oxygen came back. In other words, at these pressures, your body cannot absorb this much oxygen properly and it becomes as good as poison to your system. That may be so, but at this rate, you're just as doomed as I am. <sighs> Ew. Circular breathing. What, don't tell me you didn't see that one coming. This is the difference between you and us. Shiro, let's go. Okay. <sighs> Real atmosphere. Can you feel that? The zero pressure environment created by the absence of the atmosphere will cause the air left inside you to expand until you burst. If you understood that, then you'd know why we exhaled the way we did. Still, it is useless. <gasps> My voice? <laughs> Sound can't travel in a vacuum. So if you can't answer in the next 30 seconds... Then I lose. Is that what you're thinking? <laughs> it's too bad you're nothing but a pathetic little humanity. You do your race proud, for what it's worth. But I'm afraid that this is the absolute end of the road. Do you see now? This difference between us is a barrier that amenity will never be able to overcome. Why, you can't even find a way to answer me. <laughs> Isn't it ironic? In the end, you will lose as a result of the soundless, fiery world you created. Alas, you never stood a chance. Coulomb's force vanishes, and all that's left is the nuclear force that draws atoms together. The result is an astronomical phenomenon that normally only occurs by the gravitational collapse of supermassive planets. A hypernova. An explosion capable of destroying stars dozens of light years away. It has a temperature of 50 billion degrees Celsius, rivaling the dawn of creation. Just try and survive that, Flugel! He's right. So he got me after all. Even if I die only a fraction of a second earlier, I still lose. I see now that the first explosion was simply a ruse to see if he could use words his opponents didn't know. That little demonstration gave him all the information he needed to set his trap for me. He orchestrated it so that everything that happened after that was just a distraction to keep me entertained enough to miss his true intent. Now that I think of it, the game was over after the very first move. These otherworldly beings... No, these humanity. They're a terrifying race of creatures. I 
died, didn't I? Yep, welcome back. First you degrade the crap out of me, then use me as a decoy, and then just sat back and watched me die? The inhumanity! I mean, in humanity <laughs> And beg. How long is this day anyway? Well, I'm sure you have a lot to complain about. But if it weren't for you, we would have lost. Thanks a lot, Steph. You're great. I was utterly defeated. No matter how much you tried to lure me, in the end, there was no way to know I would answer with egocentric. That's the kind of risk a madman would take. <laughs> I am challenging God, after all. Could a sane person do that? You're going to do what? It was Ted who called us to this world. <sighs> he wants us to challenge him, so we'll give him a run for his money, right? Now then, Jabril, since you lost, according to the pledges, everything you have now belongs to us. Oh, that's right. Those 40,000 books in my tablet were just bait. Feel free to borrow it and read them whenever you feel like it. You can keep using the library, too, if you want. Oh, my dear departed lord. Oh, Ardash, he who created us but no longer draws breath. At last I achieved the long-held dream. I found those worthy to call master. Those who I can serve faithfully with every ounce of my being. Though born of humanity, they would command the elves and even myself, overturning my preconceived notion of the world. My masters, my lords, I, Jabril of the Flugel, ranked six in the Exceed, member of the Council of Wings, henceforth offer my very being to you. From now on, I will find no greater pleasure than carrying out your will, my dear masters. Well, alrighty, that sounds great. Right, Shiro? Hmm. Welcome to the team. Okay, guys, I've been a dog long enough. I mean, I'd be dead in dog years by now. I used to be a gamer like you, then I took an arrow in the knee. Stop it. Just stop.